What's that called? I need to stop doing so many jump cuts where it's like cut, 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 and just cut out the space and just need to talk. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for coming back for another video. Let me get right into this project today as it is 26 degrees here in an unheated, uninsulated Southeast Michigan garage on December 26, 2020. I'm a little bit cold. It's a Toro push mower, just your regular residential, you know, walk behind self-propelled push mower. Um, it's Toro, it's got Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, it's a personal pace. I found it from a guy who I you know, have some transactions with here locally in town. He let me have this one. This one was free. It was on the side of the road. He doesn't know anything about it. He just picked it up, threw it in the car, and I think he threw it behind a shed of his for, I don't know, a number of months. And uh, I picked it up a few weeks ago in November. Man, it's cold. <laughs> this triangle of light right here, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I was able to get it. It's called Rembrandt lighting. The way that the light hits a subject in, in a film, if you achieve that, that's the optimal kind of light that you want to have versus, you know, if the light's too high, it kind of gives you a Frankenstein or if the light's coming from up above, it just casts these weird shadows. First thing I want to do is I want to check that oil level. See what it looks like. It's right at the fill line. It's pretty dirty though. Let's check to see if it has spark. That'll show up. All the lights off, right where my hand is. Little orange flicker if we got it. Oh yeah. All right, let's get a little bit of fuel down the spark plug hole and, oh, come on. Back to my original hypothesis on this. I'm just going to assume Oh wow, that is like brand new. See, the problem is, is that what some people probably do is they think they squeeze fresh fuel and <laughs> squeeze as I'm doing, they put fresh fuel in it, you know, and then does it start and then they change the spark plug and they just start throwing a whole bunch of different things at the wall, seeing what will stick. And you know, maybe some people don't know that the carb can gum up as easy as it could or. I always love this anticipation build up every time we get some fuel down there. It ran a lot longer than usual. You could hear it, could you hear it kind of, it was, it was surging. All right, let's get that carb off there. See how that looks. guys, while that uh, ultrasonic cleaner is doing its thing, I think I'm gonna, you, you good with that? I kind of looked in there and there's no, uh, man, that is, there's sound escaping that. See that? Got a, some kind of latch right there. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out and then per the usual, you know, happenings on this channel, you know that once that's happening, we'll get everything flushed out. I would imagine the gas that's gonna come out of this is gonna be pretty good. Let's get that flushed out. We'll get some new stuff in there and we'll just kind of run it until it's, you know, until it's something that we're comfortable with. And then we'll get that car back on there and fight it up and see how it sounds.
Let's see, those are both a lot better than what we started with. Alright guys, so we got the mower back down on the ground, about to fire it up. If you did see, that air filter was brand new. So obviously, whoever had it before, they tried changing the air filter, changing the spark plug. Like I said earlier, just throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall, seeing what was gonna happen. So we got that going for us, which is nice. I am going to kind of test this self-propel system, so you'll probably see me you know, just like riding it back and forth a couple times. Uh, I do want to let that engine run for about five minutes, and then we'll change the oil in it. So I just want that oil to be heated up. All right, that should be good. We got that oil all drained out. So let's get some fresh stuff up in there. Just got a uh, 10W30, also a free product placement for Lucas. I'm actually a big fan of this stuff. You replace, uh, you can use it, you know, automotive, small engine, really just helps kind of tighten things up in there. You know, it's, it, it claims, I'll read, seals worn cylinders to slow oil consumption. So if the rings are worn, right, oil is getting by and is combusting, you know, above the piston, and that's, you know, what you see a lot of times with like white smoke. So it's, it's really thick, it's like a honey. They recommend you put, uh, replace 20%, every 10 ounces of oil, you would put two ounces of this supplemented, so eight ounces of oil, two ounces of this to equal the 10. These hold about, I don't know, maybe 20 ounces. So I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna eyeball like five ounces really cold in this garage so I'm gonna assume this is probably gonna take a minute here it comes it's literally like honey Right on the full line. All right guys, just kind of tying some loose ends up on this, you know, before we call this one in the books. There's two knobs on this side. And if you see, there's two, here, I'll swing around. There's like two bolts on this side, right? And on top of that, they're just, there's just kind of general slop. These are from another project for complete knobs. The OCD in me is, it's just gonna drive me berserk. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these two out and then take those two out too so all four can match.
cold out here. This is how to make a, just a little piece of equipment look extremely epic and it's a cool little project. I always love little ones like this that, you know, they're not, they don't get much glory, but they're fun. I like them. Plus, you know, everybody kind of has their own little sentimental piece of attachment to a push mower that they use at home uh, or have used in the past. So if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Follow me on social media at Chris X Outdoors. Say hi. Love to hear what you guys are working on. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you have. If you're into this sort of content, consider subscribing to the channel. Pretty much everything that we do is just like this video. All the other ones are relatively the same, just with different equipment, you know, here and there. But I hope you enjoy. Thank you again for joining. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.